There we go. And battery off. Just gonna let the uh, the mistress hide out behind the brush pile here tonight. I'll leave her out here tonight. I'll come back tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be nice again tomorrow, and uh, we'll get those two those two trees out of the ground. But. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Out here on the field this morning getting ready to pull a couple trees. The old iron mistress uh, spent the night out here last night. Gosh, look at the glint off of that cutting edge. Love it. Seems like uh, everything is still just as I left it. So, we'll be starting uh, her up in just a minute. Meanwhile over here I did some uh, digging around the bases of those two trees that I want to pull out of here breaking some of the roots, um, the D2 will have no problem pulling these two over. I've got the cable strung up to the oak already. You can see I went in here, broke a lot of roots, dug out some of the material, tried not to get too ridiculous with it. This root is actually from the other tree. You can hear uh, Mama Robin over there. She's been all kinds of mad at me because uh, She's got a nest right over here. We won't touch it or anything. Four little blue eggs down in there. So she's been awfully agitated that I've been working in this area. I only found one big rock too. Can you believe it? Hopefully we're running out of them here, I don't know. So anyway, we're dug out all the way around. Lots of nice good sand in there. It's what I like to see. So we'll get the D2 running and pull these over. Okay, cable strung up to the second group. I, uh, I'm gonna wrap about four of those in one, cinch them together, and uh, we're hooked up to the cat. I'm gonna take this one in a different direction because I'm trying to pull these two root balls apart. It gets pretty tough when you get uh, 
two of these that are intertwined into one another and I noticed this oak was holding pretty good on this side yet so hopefully if we can take this basswood clump angle off towards where the mistress is over there it's going to go a long way towards separating these two things and uh, the reason I'm pulling these over is because you got to remember the backhoe I have is, is a pretty little backhoe and it's going to be easier just to use the leverage of the tree trunk to roll most of that root ball out and hopefully pull them apart than it is to be using the backhoe and just flogging a thing trying to rip those two uh, those two stumps apart from one another so let's see if we can cinch this whole bunch and get it on the ground Well, that worked we've got two stumps to get them pulled apart which I'm happy about first thing I noticed was this um, kind of perfect indent in here in the bottom of the root ball great big rock looks like a big old sandstone chunk down here so that'll be a picker I'll be digging that one out but at least I got both these pulled apart that was the plan so a lot of cutting to do now to dispose of these things Okay, we're chained down, loaded, ready to go back home. Time to go get some supper. Let's get you guys out of that glare. Um, rain forecasted for tomorrow, so I'm taking the D... Oh, I'm getting tired. Taking the D2 back home. Uh, we'll get some supper. I'll offload everything on the trailer. We'll come back out here and wrap the video. <clears throat> well, I just came from home. D2 is offloaded. Everything off the trailer is put away. Chains, binders, blocks, cable, drawbar pin, even the spare quart of oil I had in case I need it for the starting engine. All that stuff is put away. So this is the victory dance right here. It's time for a beer. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this stuff.
Oh, that's good. I don't even know if I had the camera pointed towards me. It was that good. Anyway, we got... Well, I accomplished my goal for the weekend. I got that topsoil pile pushed out of there. You can see this kind of rise in front of me here, and it goes up. It's kind of a little bit of a ridge where I took those two trees out. A lot of roots left to pull out of here. A lot of cleaning left to do. But once I get a lot of that stuff picked out, I got all kinds of material in here that I can go and just take the rest of this off and deposit out there, start over by where the silver truck is. I need to build that up a little bit in that area. I'd like to do a gentle slope on out this direction. So. Woo! Oh, how can that be legal? It's that good. Anyway, nice and flat out here. Well, flat enough. I'll get in and disc this later. Bring a little forward up here. I think it's getting about time to uh, shine that old tumble bug up over there, get the H out, and uh, do it to it again. Trying to get into it and get it done this summer before it just gets horrible out here. So. I got a date with a Mountain Dew, guys. It's been a long couple days. Happy with the work I got done. Tired, but it's a good type of tired. Tune in again, please. <laughs>